We will be looking at this collection from Madame Glam released today, June 1st, called Take Me to the Bay, and the destination for this one is San Francisco. Welcome back. So I do have another collection from Madame Glam to share with you. This consists of eight polishes and they have a sea glass formula. So something completely different. As you know, Madame Glam does come out with collections at the beginning of every month. And most of the time I can get them out to you on the first when they're released. So you can purchase them or sometimes it's a little late that depending on the mail, of course. But yeah, this one is on time. So I'm excited to share this one. And of course they're Polishes are vegan, cruelty free, and 21 free formula. And I do have a coupon code for them. It'll be down in the description as always. It's a 30% off code. But if you want, join their VIP program and you do get 50% off all of your future orders. So that's a really good deal too. I don't make any money off your purchases. So if you want to use my code, go ahead. It'll be down there. And make sure you click the link with the code in order to use it but let's get started looking at the names again and then i'm going to swatch them quick and i might just do one little design on a nail to show you something you could do with one of these polishes just to make it fun so make sure you watch till the end to see that but let's get started looking at the names and you'll have to excuse my nails they are over three weeks and they are beaten up from doing other people's. So I'm gonna be doing those by the end of this week. So I'm looking forward to getting them done. But we'll start with the polishes. We've got Aquaholic. And I'm just gonna show you the names right now and I'll bring the colors up when I go to swatch them. We've got Playa. Purple Haze, Oceanside, Salty Foam, Surf and Skate, Sandcastle, and the last one is Shaka love the names they totally suit the sea glass formula that they're made of so i'll get my swatch sticks and we'll begin swatching i probably am going to do two coats on all of them i have no idea if they're very opaque or more sheer but we'll find out once i get swatching here so i'm going to move them aside i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Oh, 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 oh,
Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey finished and they are definitely like a sea glass appearance meaning they're more sheer i'm thinking on a client you could do three coats of it just because they're so sheer but if you like that more sheer look you could go with just one if you're going to put something under it like say glitters or flakes then one would probably be good you could like um, layer it to get a really pretty marble look so many ideas you could do with these and this is the only one that was in sheer sandcastle and definitely has like little tiny specks in it. it reminds me of sand but the rest were all sheer look at the colors the purples are definitely different the greens are different you've got a light, lighter and a darker and same with the purples you've got a couple of peaches one is definitely deeper and so one softer and they've got one blue in there and yeah just a really pretty collection so i'm just going to do a quick little design with one of these colors for you so that you get the idea what you could do with it so i'll be right back in a second when i have that ready to start this design, I'm using Surf and Skate from this collection, and I'm just gonna do one thin layer, and it's gonna look really sheer, but that's okay, that's what I want. And I am out of camera a little bit, I apologize for that, but you can kind of see the color still as it goes on. I'll bring it up just before I cure it. So it'll cure for 30 seconds. And now I'm taking these um, kind of iridescent foil flakes and I'm putting a base coat of Madame Glam's on first. I'm not gonna cure it. And then I'm just gonna add some flakes just kind of randomly. And you will notice, you can see this stand below the design. And when I'm finished, you'll notice it a little bit too. Hopefully it doesn't take it away from it too much. It just it's kind of gonna have that sheer look when it's all finished. But I'm gonna apply those flakes and then I'm gonna grab my little UV LED light that has the little stamper on the end. And I'm gonna push down these flakes and cure them that way first before it goes in the big light. So you'll see me doing that. And I love this little UV LED light because anything that's sticking up, you can get it down before you put it in the light. So it's gonna be easier to encapsulate once I have it down better, of course. So I'm gonna grab that light right away once I'm done putting the flakes on. 
And there it is. So yeah, I'm just going to float it over for a second or two, just so I kind of set the gel a little bit. And then you go down and push down on the flakes and then it's going to cure in there. And you'll see when I'm done, they're stuck down really nice because of the light. And then it'll go in the big light for about 60 seconds to finish curing. So now that it's done curing, I'm going to do a second layer over it and it's just going to give that sheer look. It's going to cover up those flakes a little bit, but when the design's done, they do poke through and they're really pretty and shiny. So now I'm taking Madame Glam's Perfect White and I'm going to put it on my palette. I'm just going to grab a detail brush and that uh, cured last layer I did just so you know I did cure it for 30 seconds so now I'm just drawing some lines now I'm going to kind of give that quartz look which I think is so pretty with these polishes you could use any of the colors so I'm just going to draw the lines and then I'm going to grab a brush a cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone and I'm going to soften those lines you'll see me doing that and once I have that done it'll cure I'm now going to take the surf and skate again and do a really thin layer over it. This gives the nail dimension with the flakes and the lines and the color. So once I have it cured, I'm going to grab that detail brush again with the perfect white from Madame Glam. And I'm actually going to draw some lines in the opposite direction. It's going to give this nail a lot more dimension for the quartz. It just looks so pretty when you do the layers like this. And I'm going to grab that cleanup brush again and I'm going Going to soften those lines once I have those ones done and then again it's going to cure for 30 seconds So you may have noticed as I've been doing it, there's some bumps on the nail, but that's okay because I have to encapsulate it. So I'm taking Madame Glam's Builder Gel Pure Serenity, and I'm just going to go over that with that builder. And then once I have that done, it's going to cure for 60 seconds. Now that it's cured, I'm just going to wipe off that sticky inhibition layer and I'm just going to grab my hand file. This is a 100, 180 grip file and I'm just going to finish file this nail and remove any bumps and just make it nice and smooth. And then you'll see me grabbing my buffer once I've filed just to smooth out the nail. And then when I get to that, we will be applying Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat and I'll be back once I'm done filing.
Now I'm ready to apply that top coat. I removed the dust and this nail is so pretty. Like I said, you might see the little bit of yellowness from the stand below it, but if I didn't have it on the stand and I had it on a client's nails or my nails, it would be really nice and you wouldn't notice any of that. It's just because that stand is a really bright gold under there, but it's such a pretty nail. I hope you can see it in the camera. I'll bring it up close here in a minute so you can see it better, but hopefully this gives you an, an idea of what you can use these gels for and i want to thank madam glam for sending me these gels to share with you guys great collection go get it before they're gone and use my 30 percent off code with the link of course so thanks everybody for watching as always and if you can please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that and i will see you in the next one